salute and blessings to the family. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk, bro. And uh, before we start this video, man, I just want to thank everybody that's been rocking with the channel, bro. Slowly but surely, we are growing, man. Peace and love to all of you guys, man. Blessings to all of you guys. Uh, with that being said, let's hop into the video, bro. We're going to get into some more LeBron James conversations, bro. Um, I, was, I was upset, bro, and I still think it's BS that LeBron didn't go to Wade's Hall of Fame induction. But now I feel like what people are doing is starting to get a little outrageous, bro. And let me say this, bro. Uh, on this channel, like, people that I talk, like, like, let, let me say it like this, bro. I don't hate LeBron, but I don't love LeBron to the point that I could think he could do no wrong. And the same goes for any other man or any topic that I talk about on this channel, bro. You know what I mean? I, tr I give my honest opinion, bro. I'm not biased at all, bro. I'm just being honest with everything that I say. And uh, let me say this, bro. He was wrong as hell for not going to Dwayne Wade's Hall of Fame induction. But what people are recently doing, talking smack about him going to a Dodger game. And now people are talking about he didn't go to Wade's Hall of Fame induction, but he's at a Drake concert with his son. So what? So what, bro, is what I have to say. Was he wrong for not going to Wade's Hall of Fame induction? Man, bro, I think that was whack, bro. Because we all know that he was, um, you know, not too long after that, uh, out in Toronto promoting his tequila and doing what he does. He should have went to that man's Hall of Fame induction. Even You know, he could have went and flown, flown back the same night to L.A. But with that being said, let's not get to the point that every time now this man steps out of the house, we start talking about, oh, but he's at uh, this concert or he's at that restaurant or he's here or he's there and he didn't go to Wade's Hall of Fame induction. So what, bro? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying so what that he didn't go to the induction, bro. So what I'm saying, this man is going to go out. He's going to go out and spend time with his son, bro. And thank God I see Bronny has... It looks like he's fully recovered, bro. Thank God. I hope he never has to go through that again, knowing he went through that cardiac arrest. But, you know, so what if this man is hanging out with his friends? So what if he's hanging out with his son? Isn't that what all of us do? What he did, not showing up to Wade's um, Hall of Fame induction, is not, is not right by all means, in my opinion, bro. I think it's a bunch of bullshit. But that doesn't mean that from now on, every time this man goes and does something, we got to keep bringing that up, bro. That's whack, bro. It's something that happened. He was wrong. And, you know, like, like now every time he does something, he, if this man wants, he could go out with his son seven days a week to a goddamn concert, restaurant, or whatever, every day of the week if he feels like it, bro. If he feels like it, bro. Like, we got to get to a point where we move on. From, you know, from where we move on from a situation. We could talk about it a little bit, but y'all see this man going to a Dodger game, you bring up the Hall of Fame induction. You see this man going to a Drake concert with his son, you bring up the Hall of Fame induction. Bro, I, you, like, the one situation where I feel like, all right, bro, it makes a little sense when he was in Toronto promoting his tequila because a lot of the bronze sexuals were saying, oh, he has to be next to his son and all that, which which stop it, bro, because I heard that Bronny did make a, a full recovery and all that, and LeBron, you know, he is out by himself doing his thing. Stop that shit. He should have been at Wade, Wade's induction. But but <clears throat> other than that, bro, like everything else LeBron does, let's not keep taking it back to that situation, bro. Let, let's move forward, bro. This man could spend as much time as he wants with his son. This man could spend as much time as he wants with his friends. This man could choose to retire tomorrow. It wouldn't matter, bro. He's, he's made it to a level and made enough money where at this point, he could pretty much almost do whatever he chooses to do, bro. Whether he chooses to play ball or not play ball, whether he chooses to spend time with his son every day or his friends, it, it, he could do whatever he wants, bro. So what I'm trying to say is let's move on from that situation because after a while, it does get kind of cheesy and corny when we drag shit along for too long and don't, you know, it's just move on, bro. He did something. A lot of people did feel it was wrong, which me being one of them, it was wrong. But let's not take every every time this man steps out of the house to bring that shit up, bro. It's kind of corny, bro. It's kind of like some stalkerish shit, too, at the same time, bro. So that's what I really got to say 
about this topic, bro. And to Brownie, bro, I'm happy for you, big dog. I hope, um, you know, you live a long and healthy life. Like I said before, bro, prayers go to you, man. You know, you're young. You got your whole life ahead of you, bro. And, you know, let's move forward, bro. Braun was wrong as hell for not going to Wade's induction. But let's not talk about that shit every time this man steps out the house now for the next year, bro. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk, man. Peace and blessings to everybody. And we keep it real all the way to the end over here. Let's go.